So today we've got a van related video at last. We are excited because Uncle Geeky Philip is on his way to help us upgrade our van. What she said. <laughs> So I'm going to do a little upgrade on the van today. I'm going to install a relay so that all the sockets in the van work when we're not on mains power. So on our last van, I had the dealer install an inverter and a little switch over. So when we were wild camping and we wasn't on electric hookup, all the sockets in the van worked. But in, in practice, most of the things we were plugging in were on a step down to 12 volt transformer anyway so when I got this van I said you know what we're just gonna go to 12 volt um, and try and just you know use use the batteries however um, there's a couple of things that we still want to run when we're not on electric hookup and that is number one my coffee machine and number two is uh, Lindsay's hair straighteners so I've decided to um, put an inverter in which I did a little while back um, but now all the sockets still only work when you're on 240 hookup. So today I got my good friend Geeky Phil coming over and we're going to install a relay. So when we're not on 240 hookup, all the sockets in the van will still work through the inverter. And look who's just turned up. I better turn the music down, hadn't I? Uh, it's going to be copyright. copyright yeah. How are you? All right? Yeah, I'm not too bad, are you? Good. Phil, can you explain what we're trying to do today? So what we're doing today is we're going to be installing an automatic changeover relay, which means that when there's no power connected to the van, the inverter powers the sockets in the van and just the sockets in the van. But as soon as a a hookup lead plugged in, a relay clicks over and it means that all the sockets in the van and everything else are powered by the hookup. Now you can buy boxes that are pre-made to do this and they generally go just after the hookup feed. The only slight problem with that is that generally they'll mean that the fridge will try and uh, switch over to mains or the heater might switch over to mains. So what we're doing here in Steve's van is we're actually going to install the relay after the breaker as the wire goes out to the sockets. Now, the actual cost of doing this is probably around about somewhere between 25 and 30 pounds for parts. So we here we have a relay, which uh, is I brought from RS. I don't like buying cheap relays from Amazon or eBay, so this is an industrial relay. I'll bring it a bit closer to the camera so you can see. And on here you can see it's rated, maybe you can't, I'll see if you can see that there. Uh, it's rated at 16 amps, 250 volts. It must be rated higher than the fuse, uh, the MCB on the board, which in Steve's case is 10 amp, and the output of the inverter. So what's gonna happen with this relay is that into here we're going to have the input from the inverter and the input from the main hookup, and then we're gonna have the output going to the sockets. When the power comes on, it will energize the relay, flick it over and swap over the power from one to the other. So what we need is we need a relay and because obviously we've got some contacts there, we need a box to put it in so it's nice and safe so nobody can touch anything can electrocute themselves. We need a plug and we need some cable. So that's all that we actually need to do this. The other thing that I'm doing, I just so the reason why Steve's asked me to come do this is because I'm a qualified electrician. So I've got my meter with me, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test all the electrics on Steve's van before we start doing any work. I'm going to test the RCD and I'm going to test to make sure that all the sockets are wired correctly. The reason for doing that first is because then if there's a problem, we can solve those problems before we start doing the installation. And it means that if we have any problems at the end, I mean, this is quite simple, so we shouldn't, uh, we know that it's something that we've done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around and test everything. And once we've done that, Steve is going to crack on with the manual labor. So that means my hair straighteners are going to work. Yes, honey, your hair straighteners will work.
So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just taking the fluke meter, we've put the relay in, and I want to make sure that there's no power being passed back down, which there shouldn't be because it's disconnected on the relay. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to connect the meter up onto the pins the correct way round. And then we should have only something like an inductive load. So you see we've got 5.7 volts AC. That's just where this cable's laying next to um, other cables. So that's just an inductive, but there's no power coming back down there. So this is safe, I can touch that. This, it's not gonna cause any problems. So we, we were just testing that to make sure that the relay is wired correctly. And there we have it. All working a treat. Now I can enjoy a coffee when we're not on electric hookup and Lindsay can use her hair straighteners. Thanks so much Kiki Phil for your help. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, maybe like, subscribe and uh, I'll see you again on the next one.